Hey, hi ho! Hi pocket guys! Hi ho, guys! I'm Angar Game Blast, and today. And I'm Stukense. <laughs> and today we will talk about learning curves in online games. But first, I want to drink for your health. На здоровье, жбоня, не, не, не. Nice to meet you. Let's talk. I think everybody uh, knows this. Let's turn music. Yeah, nice. Everybody knows ah, this picture. This picture which so show you time spent playing and gaming skill. And this is like promotion for if online, if online is so cute game, so and World of Warcraft not so cute. But uh, we will discuss this later. So uh, why I want to talk, to talk about your learning curve in online games, about time and skill. So in X we have time, which you play, how long you play the game, your experience in the game. And in Y we have your skill, we have your learning, how much did you learn, how much new you understand. So when you start playing, you uh, learn. Let me show it like this. One second, I need some preparations. So, uh, uh, when you just start to play World of Warcraft, for example, you are a new guy, you don't know nothing about World of Warcraft. Let World of Warcraft will be red, yeah. So, when you just start to play World of Warcraft, you're learning how to walk around, you learn how to take quests, you learn how to use your abilities, so you have to learn quite a lot. But then you understand this stuff and your learning curve become more horizontal. Then uh, you go to the dungeon and again you have to learn how to work in a group, you have to learn your class, are you healer, tank or DPS, you have to learn. After several dungeons not much things to learn about this and Afterward, you go to PvP in World of Warcraft, and you have to learn again. So, this learning curve, it's not like this, it's more like this. Because you have uh, times when you have to learn a lot, and times when you learn not much. But at first I want to tell you, I just explained what does it mean, and now I want to tell why I am going to talk about it. A lot of people writing me, Tangar, why are you playing this uh, roguelike games, why are you playing Tomnet, for example, link below this video. So, uh, Tomnet is a roguelike game, it's an online roguelike game, and you could play roguelike with another player, and it's really great fun. But why people still play roguelike game? Why people still enjoy this uh, very strange picture, you could, you could say? And you were right, it's a very strange picture, when we have full 3D games, full 3D MMOs and RPGs. It's because of learning curve. In this game, you have to learn a lot. Every time when you play this game, you have new situation because it's based on random and on very harsh random. You have to learn quite every moment while you play this game. So Roguelike's game has such curve such curve and Tomnet it's the same roguelike game but also you have to play with another uh, player so it's even more dif difficult game so that's why I play in Tomnet that's why I enjoy roguelike game because this game has very uh, cool curve so when, every time when you play you learn something about the game, you learn about this world, and it's interesting. If, for example, you're playing uh, World of Warcraft, if you are existing player, if you already played in Arch Age or Lion Age, if you have more PG experience and you start to play World of Warcraft, for example, you already have to start not here, because it's, you have to learn how to walk, you start like this. Because you already have some 
uh, knowledge. You have some knowledge about uh, such type of games. So you know about skills, you know about walking, but you still learn some stuff, but not so much if you played uh, games like World of Warcraft in previous virtual lives. So uh, you play, you play, you start creating, start to UP, so sometimes this curve going like this, but uh, finally it would become very horizontal. And this means boring. This means boring. If gaming curve, if learning curve going horizontal, if it's going like this, it means that game become boring to you and you would quit this game and to play another one. So every player who starts to play both and has a lot of interest in experience, something like this, but finally he would go to this horizontal uh, line and it would be boring for him. That's why a lot of players leave World of Warcraft and also Blizzard, they made a lot of casual uh, stuff. So if in previous, in vanilla World of Warcraft, it was very good gaming curve. It was it wasn't hardcore. You know, hardcore gaming curve. It's like this blue line, like what Rogi likes. Uh, games has quite hardcore uh, learning curve when you have to learn a lot every time. You don't have uh, just relaxing gameplay. And World of Warcraft, it's Rogi likes. And World of Warcraft in vanilla in vanilla a style he has very good learning curve like this it wasn't too um, cool it wasn't too low it was very optimal right now world of warcraft has really uh, casual and boring casual and boring um, curve so it's like like this and it's not that don't race in don't race and that's why this game boring and they made it too casual so uh, let's take another case let's take uh, if online and look at this picture so if online has very very high uh, learning curve but it's not like this it's not really big advantage of the game why so let's take this red. Red would be learning curve for if online. If online, you start, when you start, you have to learn a lot about this game. You have to learn huge amount of stuff for very short uh, time to understand basics, even basics, because it's very complex. So you learn huge amount of stuff. Then afterward, when you, um, after one or two months, you become to understand a lot and you start to learn like this. It's still high amount, but there would be time when you do not have to learn much at all. So for casual players, I want to tell about 80% of players. 80% of players in if online, they become, they have this learning curve. It's, they don't learn anything. So. This picture, you see, yeah, this is quite true. You don't, you don't learn anything. Yeah, you kill stuff. You are, you could PVN everything, but you don't learn, and it become boring. That's why a lot of players quitting if online because learning curve become nothing. It become nothing. So uh, I don't want to harass if online players uh, because. Of course, in F Online you have different kind of experience, political, political games. And politic, politics in F Online for some people, it continues, uh, continue for uh, skill. So you, you are playing not really a flying simulator in space, you are playing like political game. Uh, and for some players it works, but not for main, not for 80% players. That's why a lot of players quitting if, um, if online. So this way, when you have very high learning curve, and another thing, when some players, they stop, some players, they stop to play if online at this moment, because they start to learn and it's too much. I think every second player who start to play if online, he stops at this 
maybe uh, when he going in, in this tutorial, he's, he trying it and he understands that, wow, it's, it's too much, and he just go away from if online, it's another big problem of such gameplay. So, uh, what about, let's continue uh, my idea, what about uh, TomNet? Game which I play right now, it has very good learning curve. Uh, maybe it's quite close to uh, if online at the beginning because it's quite it's quite a lot a lot of things you have to learn. But soon it becomes like this. And in TomNet you don't have this horizontal. You don't have this horizontal. You have always you always go up in TomNet. That, that's it. That's that's why this game so interesting. Even months or even years go through, and you still have to learn a lot of stuff. Of course, some players they become very good expert and they, they have some plateau, but still they have to learn a lot of stuff about this game. So that's why it's my answer to question. Some people ask me why I play Tomnet, why I play Ruby Likes game. That's why, because of learning curve in these games, this type of games, it's very, very in good direction. In good direction, go into good direction. So, yeah, that's why, that's why people playing Ruby Likes game still. So, it's very interesting thing, and I'll continue to talk about learning curve in different games because it's a very interesting uh, theme. It's very interesting to analyze different di different online games different more pg how which learning curve do they have so i'll make some more videos about this topic and i hope to see to to find your commentary uh, below this video please write your comments below this video i'll be very glad to look at them and also what do you think about learning curves which game has the most interesting learning curve the most cruel or the most optimal for you, please write your comments below this video. It was Tangar Game Glass. See you.